final gameplay release for Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl just dropped and we have got an exciting video coming up for you breaking down everything that you need to know. We're finally seeing some of the shooting mechanics too so let's get ready for when Stalker drops in a few weeks. First up we've got more of the in-game visuals on the show. Now Stalker 2 is powered by Unreal Engine 5 and this allows the game to show off its gritty realism that it is themed around. From the dynamic lighting that sets the mood to the detailed environments, the zone feels more alive than ever. One of the biggest changes in Stalker 2 is the improved AI. Enemies are smarter, mutants are unpredictable. You'll need to rethink your strategies whether you're sneaking past bandit patrols or trying to outwit packs of mutated dogs. The feedback is that the game is very tense and difficult which I'm sure will appeal to quite a few games. Gamers. If you think you've seen it all with the original games, they seem to have turned up the creepiness to a new level and the game has a pretty dark and ominous vibe, as do the characters in it. The shooting seems crunchy but maybe a little bit clunky which is what I fear and is an issue with pretty much all RPG FPS games. I will have to get my hands on it myself to let you know but so far I'm not overly impressed by how the shooting is looking in these clips. Just looks a little bit stiff, just doesn't have the fluidity that we're used to in some more action packed shooters but let's give it the benefit of the doubt for now. Let's get our hands on it and we'll let you know what we think of the shooting mechanics. But one thing that the video does show is that the customization is key in the new Stalker universe. Weapons, armor, and even your character's skills are more customizable than ever. So whether you're the lone sniper type or prefer close-up chaos with shotguns and grenades, the choice is yours. Come on in, make yourself at home, but don't get too comfortable. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. But it's not just the enemies you'll be fighting, the zone itself is evolving. Anomalies are more dangerous, weather patterns more unpredictable, the radiation zones are deadlier. But the reward, rare artifacts and resources that could be the difference between life and death. So what's the story driving all of this chaos? Set years after the original events, you'll once again explore the heart of Chernobyl, where a new threat is rising. The factions are at war, new secrets of the zone are uncovered and your choices will shape the world around you. Are you the hero that the zone needs or will you fall to the chaos? Guys, I have a full story recap of the first game. I will link it above. So check that out when you have time. How is this game going to play? How long is the campaign going to be? How finished is the game? We know it's had a lot of delays. One thing that is for certain is that the game looks great and that the hardcore stalker fans will be paying close attention to this release. Set for the 20th of November and you can pre-order it now on Steam. I will be covering Stalker 2 on its release so do hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you in the next video and I'll catch you next time. But there's another. The shining side. It's here all around us but we cannot see it. I wonder what's out there. Eternal Spring? The Klondike of artifacts? A new home? Our hearts, desires. We want the Shining Zone to reveal itself. 